the institutions, entities, and all. Information and Media Minister Cornelius Muitwa has stepped up to highlight government performance and gains in response to allegations from opposition groups. Mr. Muito says government has performed positively in a number of areas, including on the democratic front. He has also criticized the petition attributed to Emeritus Archbishop Telesfom Pundu to the U.S. government to impose sanctions on some government officials. We want to indicate and appeal to our colleagues in the opposition and some of those in civil society with a political bias that it will not benefit anybody to try and dent the democratic credentials image of our country at a time when progress is being registered. We must remind them at this particular moment that even if this letter was genuine and therefore they intend to call for sanctions genuine, such a call would not be beneficial to ordinary citizens because even where there is a genuine case for sanction to be imposed on a political government leadership of a country History has shown that the actual people who suffer are not those to whom sanctions may be targeted. Mr. Mwitwa, who is also Choma Central MP, has asked the opposition to be sincere in their criticism. The State Council, Sakuiba Skota, took to the field at the presser of uh, the United Culture Alliance to mislead the nation and the world at large that the government now intends to legislate utilization of social media at individual level that whoever wants to share their views on social media will be made amenable or answerable to the law. That was a gross misinformation by state council. The chief government spokesperson also commented on the raging debate regarding regulation of online broadcasts. There is no bill before parliament or before cabinet which is intended to promulgate regulation or legislation of broadcasting on internet. Sharon Siame, ZNBC News, Lusaka.